Welcome to Monday Mayhem here in Canada, where it is a beautiful sunny day to start our week. All right, we do have a submission of a T versus T game. And coincidentally, in the lower right hand corner, it is I am Canadian. So apparently, he is having a very good Monday as we are enjoying some very, very hot weather nearing the 30 degree mark. He will be playing the blue Protoss in the lower right hand corner. In the lower left hand corner, we have the red Protoss. And look out, it is Calm Jedi. Could have some Jedi mind tricks. You never want to fight a Jedi. We wish you both the best of luck. Being as I am Canadian, I may have to root behind Mr. I am Canadian. Here we go here. We are going to start this game off. I can tell you right now, I am Canadian is unranked. Is not even a level 1, so it's his very first game. So not aware of his skill level. Both of them are walling off the exact same Calm Jedi. Is a Silver League player. Just FYI. We are there both going to start off the standard Supply Depot, Barracks Supply Depot wall, it looks like here. Aren't going to get any scouting out of here, which is fairly typical in lower league play, but we might actually be surprised as we are getting the scout out now, so maybe we will get a scout from both. It almost seems scouting is becoming more and more common, to be honest with you. Before, I remember the lower leagues never used to scout. Now it seems like almost everybody and their dog can scout now. Very, very good to see that. Everybody is improving at a very steady pace. We are getting them both scouting to the closest location they can, both going straight up the map where they will not find anybody. So might be scouting for a while before they figure out what is going on. And yes, we do have the barracks and the double supply depot on one end. The other end a little bit further behind on that, but I'm assuming we'll do the exact same thing here. Does have the nine. Let's get the units tab up here. We do have 14 SCVs. 212 for I am Canadian. We should hopefully see what they're going to get into pretty soon here. I am Canadian having a union break with two SCVs at the front door. Is getting out the second barracks. Now has lowered both supply depots. And they're both now scouting to the opposite corner at the very top where they still will find nothing. So should have fairly even scout times by the time they realize where each other is here. Uh, currently do not have any Marines or anything coming out yet. Do have a lot of mining happening over here. On the other end here is, I don't know what he's doing, really flubbing the wall or whatever he tried to do. It looked like he was going to build a wall. Now he's moved everything all over the place so he can fit the expansion, being a tech lab, onto that barracks, putting the factory right beside it. So we are going to get some early factory, possibly Stargate play out of Calm Jedi. We do have an SCV. We did not get given patrol points. We'll sit up in the after left-hand corner for a little bit here before he realizes that he will start to scout to the lower left corner and figure out where his opponent is. Calm Jedi is moving down. We'll be the first who will get vision in this game. We'll figure out what is going on here. We'll not be able to get up into the base, but we'll at least see one barracks. Could possibly see two. We'll see here. Let's go over here. Yes, does see both barracks. So does know he up against two barracks and a couple supply depots. Really isn't going to tell him a whole lot, to be honest with you. We are getting the orbital command up here. Very, very brilliant by I am Canadian. At the other end here with that tech lab, he is pumping out Marines right now. So no, doesn't look like an early Reaper rush by no means and probably wouldn't be with one barracks anyways. Are going straight to the starport. Not entirely sure what his build is going to be here. Could be going for some quick Banshees, possibly Cloak Banshees might be his idea here. If we look at the other end here, has put up a Supply Depot to make sure he can see anything that does happen to maybe come in for a drop or something like that. I am Canadian, now going to move the SCV into the base here. We'll start getting some vision here. Hopefully this tells him what he needs to do as he is up against a 1-1-1 build. Or maybe he will hang out down at the bottom for a bit. Maybe make sure he knows when the expansion goes up for Calm Jedi. Calm Jedi is leaving the base now, bringing the SCV back. We are now swapping around here. Are going to put the Stargate with the Tech Lab here. Does get the SCV up here. Not quite enough to see exactly what was going to happen. But might have an idea as he did see the Stargate floating over top of the Tech Lab. So maybe that gave him enough insight to see exactly what is going to happen here. Is going to go for the Banshees here. So yes, we are going to get some Banshees. A very good move 
play we don't see very often, uh, but is very good in lower league play to get those cloak banshees. Very good all round, to be honest with you. Do get the SCV back at the base for Calm Jedi. Does have a couple Marines there. Is trying to finish off the wall kind of here by getting the bunker up in the other corner of the wall. Is getting a second command center. Getting ready for expansion already. Very well done. Do have the early engineer bay happening up over at I Am Canadian. Does have the factory out here. Does have a tech lab strapped onto that factory. And will not be getting any Widow Mines, I would imagine, with a tech lab, but might start pumping out a little bit. Maybe go into a Thor build, possibly. Maybe even some Siege Tanks. Uh, we'll soon find out here. Are going to get the Stargate down here. Does have his Marines patrolling around the base, making sure nothing comes in. Very well prepared. Does have turrets in the back here. So even if we do get some Banshees out here pretty early, he is going to be ready for this, whether they come cloaked or not. Very well done by I Am Canadian. Really reading this very well, and I do believe that came from his scout, seeing the Stargate flying over top of the tech lab must have had an idea it was going to drop and we'd see banshees at this point in time the only reason i can picture him doing this or he is very 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 lucky <laughs> very well done should fend this off very easily almost gets a banshee kill there very good try doing that here is almost done with the starport here if we go over here the expansion is going to go down for calm jedi we are getting an SCV doing some more scouting around the map here, just basically making sure he's aware of where any expansions go up for I Am Canadian, I would have to imagine at this point in time. Does have some idle SCVs, really needs to get on that. Three lazy workers, send the boss out to fire these guys. This is ridiculous. Banshee boss, get over there, fire their asses, shoot them in the head with some cloak. I don't know, just get rid of them. Should not have SCV standing around like that. Does have two hit points left on the Banshee. Not entirely sure why it engaged, but it did do a lot of damage. Took the tech lab down under 50 hit points here. Really needs to get this lazy SCV over to repair it here. SCV is highlighted now. Is possibly going to repair it just in time. Very well done by I Am Canadian. Does have the siege tanks on the field now. Very well done. Com Jedi is getting that expansion going, is going with the same type of build here, does have the sieges on the field as well, is getting some medevacs, has, does realize the Banshees aren't going to do a lot, just too much protection around the mineral line. So it does have some more siege tanks coming out here, still has one lazy SCV standard there, but does put him to work getting a barracks on the go here. If we come over to I Am Canadian here, still electing not to expand quite, oh he did expand, very sorry, way up in the upper right corner. Looking at a hidden expansion here, either that or maybe just felt like a good jog. But getting an expansion up in the upper right-hand corner. Over here, we are getting the Banshee repaired. Apparently does not want to lose that Banshee. Not very often do you see Banshees being repaired by SCVs. And in Silver League, I guess everything is legal. We will fix that Banshee up. Why not? Don't want to waste it. Is loading Siege Tanks into the drop here. We can see a pretty sick drop here. Do have seven Marines and two Siege Tanks? This could be good if he times it just perfectly. Really needs to get him at the edge, Siege him up. Does he like this? Not a good idea. It needs to put him down so he can take care of this Viking here. Viking is over there basically to do scouting. Other than that, maybe see how many air units he does have or was possibly looking to take out the Banshees. Does currently amassing a fairly decent army at the other end here. If we pull up our production tab here, we are getting combat shield out of I Am Canadian. Very good move. And the infantry level one. Very good. Not very often in lower league do you see them getting up upgrades like this. That is very, very smart. We'll need that in the latter game as this does not appear to be much of an early game rush. So might need it here. Uh, upgrades could come in handy, but we are getting moved out here by Calm Jedi. Calm Jedi does have a Banshee in this army and does have the two tanks and seven Marines. Is going to let the Banshee do the scouting up front, I would imagine. Two Banshees, sorry, they were put together. Is going to stop here anyways for a little bit. Not too sure what he's determining at all. Yes, is going to send the Banshees in to scout first. Does get a scan down as well, so we'll tell him what's up here. I would imagine this will put I Am Canadian on edge. Anytime you get scanned, you're usually expected to be attacked. Does not have any detection over here. This could hurt. May lose a siege tank. Really does. Oh, good scan. Good. Oh, sick scan. Very well done by I Am Canadian. Does take out the cloaked units there. Are going to drop on the outside. If he gets the tank sieged up, gets position here. Could be disaster here. We do have over here where I Am Canadian is kind of prepping up as well. Sieges them up. Here we go. Now he's going to start losing some turrets here. I am Canadian's got to make a move here. He's looking around. Scan has been run. Is going to move over into position here. Needs to get those siege tanks sieged up here. Not good. Really needs to siege these things. Is going to get in there anyways. Did have the bigger army. So either way, did get out on the end there. 
would have liked to see the tanks get sieged up a bit. Might have helped quite a bit. But he is going to counter with another drop. Very well done. This is like what we like to see here. Get a little back and forth action here. As we do see, he does have the triple supply depot wall with the siege tank up there. Uh, kind of a supply depot wall. It's a flat one anyways. Hopefully gets those up there. Are running right in behind here with the counter attack here. Might be good timing if he can get him in here in time. Really doesn't have a lot other than the siege tank at the bottom here. If we do pull up his units tab, he has basically four marines and one siege tank. So this drop could be devastating. Is going to drop it down right there. Hopefully gets these sieged up ASAP here. And they are going to start to do just some nasty damage here if he gets these sieged up in the middle of this base. Does move them up here. Has two of them. There's the siege by Com Jedi. I would really like to see I Am Canadian figure out the siege move because he is going to get raped in the middle here. I really feel like he could have done a lot more damage had he sieged up there. Is still going to continue on through here. Uh, looks like the SCVs will probably get in close enough here. They are going to lose a lot of SCVs. So in the end, he did do a fair amount of damage here. I don't know if I'm going to blame that on lack of lack of micro buy of Mr. Com Jedi or possibly just I am Canadian with the bigger force there. But this is not looking good at all. Is going to really be devastating. Com Jedi, I don't know what he's going to do. But it does look like I am Canadian is well out in front here. Was a very good drop, like I say. Just wish he had a sieged up. Probably would have done twice that amount of damage in there quite easily. So is doing fairly well up here in the upper right. Getting fairly saturated. One on each gas. Not doing too bad at all. Over here, we do currently have that one Marine. When you are being healed by medevacs, it really does make it pretty ridiculous that a Banshee can't take you down. But hey... <laughs> That's just the advantage of having the Marine Medevac type combo. Is moving out as he does realize he probably got him really on the ropes here. Do have a massive army movement across the map here. Really only has the one Banshee at the other end. Could be disaster here when he gets in. Can't picture this being came back unless he's got a lot of units coming out. If we pull that up here, doesn't have a whole lot. Three Marines, a couple Vikings will help. And a siege tank, but re really I don't know if the time's going to be, if they're going to get out in time here. Does have the two more sieges inside the medevac here, is deciding what he wants to do here. Moving the other two medevacs over so he has all the army put together for this attack here. Really does look like he's going to have this. Not too sure if he's going to drop the sieges in the top of the base or if he just doesn't realize that he's got him in there. Yes, he is. He is going to drop them now. Does realize that. Does have one Viking out there. The Viking is going to go over and scout. Does see what's going on. Gets both Vikings over there. Just too many Marines to deal with it, though. Marines will uh, chase the Vikings off quite easily here. Is going to go up to the wall here where we do have three supply depots. There's Marines scaring off the Vikings here. Will rape through that wall quite easily. Hopefully, oh, does have the Cloak Banshee up here. Does need a scan over here, which would help a lot. Both Vikings on the field. A lot going on here. Not understanding why he doesn't use Siege Mode. But like I say, didn't have a game under his belt. So it could be the very first game. Maybe not aware of Siege Mode. But either way, that is quite fine. The Vikings are going to take care of the rest of these uh, medevacs here. And they're going to go in there. Realize they can't shoot the ground. We'll see how long this takes them to figure out. Siege mode tank up top is going to rape through these tanks pretty good. There is siege mode. That is what we need right there. Might be... Oh, we do have the reinforcement army. I was going to say this army probably will go down, but the reinforcements have come in here. Needs another scan as there is another banshee up there. Takes out a viking. Is going to go through everything except for the one siege tank left in the back of the base here. Does lose all his marines now. Siege tank's about to go down. Very well fended there. Very good Silver League play we are seeing here so far. Not spectacular micro, but these guys are fairly even, which makes it for a very exciting game watching them go back and forth here. We are currently getting out the stim pack here. Three more tech labs going down for I Am Canadian. Really building onto these siege tanks as he does have four factories on the field here. Is trying to move in for the kill. Really is that close to winning this game. You just got to really get the... I don't know if he needs the micro down or maybe needs to build up a bit more of an army. Um, but he is going to lose the rest of the army here. Com Jedi has somehow come out ahead here. Com Jedi is well ahead now. 48 SCVs for I Am Canadian. Does have the third and the fourth expansion down. So he does have more money than he knows what to do with. Is dropping turrets left, right, and center. We could get interesting very quick here. Hopefully, do no, does have 19 workers to the nine needed for the mineral patches currently there really does need to transfer them somewhere down below maybe get them long distance mining for now until they get uh get the expansions up here do have the mule drop going up here for calm jedi 
Come Jedi is looking in fairly good shape right now as he is well ahead. Only six Marines for I am Canadian. We have come to a bit of a standstill here. Both of them looking to rebuild their armies. They're not entirely sure which way they need to go with this. Do almost have the main mine dealt with 10 whole workers working on it. The expansion really doesn't have any workers left. Has two plus, of course, any mule drops that happen. I have not seen any mule drops over at I am Canadian's base here. That would help quite a bit. It really needs to start getting the mules down. Does lay a scan down. Does kind of know what's coming. Does have some more Banshees on the go here. We have Banshees and Medivacs ready to drop. Could be disaster, but he does have 12 Marines and 4 tanks now. So it does appear that I am Canadian has managed to rebuild and we'll get in it. Does see an expansion. Could possibly get a free kill, but no! They come across the map here. Could see him siege up here. Nope, they're just going to run that out of there. Do use the super boost of the Medivacs. Very well done. <coughs> I really, really wish that Calm Jedi would get in there and drop this as he might need to drop him in behind the base. Maybe do a couple drop and pickups here as it will take these Banshees eons to go through this and kill this. They might lose one here. Oh, does get the cloak in there in time. They're very well done. Does get a scan down there. We'll chase them off of here. There we go. I am Canadian is getting rebuilt here. Looking pretty good with his five siege tanks. 60 Marines and is pumping some Thors out. We're getting serious now. Does try and get some turrets up there. But he says no, come Jedi, blow him away here. Really needs to get that quick scan down here as he is losing Marines, has no medevacs to repair him. There we go, now we are seeing him. And once those Marines are dead, those tanks are going to be in big trouble. And there's the scan, just not enough Marines there though. Here we go, could lose a massive amount of tanks there. Needs to get the Thors over. Thors are coming over here, might need another scan now. Thors did get one, very well done. The power missiles have come through. Here we go. We go back over here. Sticking with two workers. Does have a very uh, big bounce right now. Sitting at $1,100, $1,200 here. So really, two workers can do the job if you're not spending your minerals, I guess. Does have four Vikings out yet. Now, I'm not too sure why he keeps pumping the Vikings out. As he did see, there aren't really any medevacs over here. Does have the one medevac at this current time. So not entirely sure why he did that. Does have two medevacs. Sorry, the other one must be floating around somewhere up here or somewhere over the base. And yes, there it is right there. Does have the Ravens out. So that is going to be his choice of detection. Like I say here... Might get a little bit lucky and actually get to use these Vikings. Why you would ever flow them in the back there? Possibly look at the drop them down here. There he is. He is going to drop down here. We'll get a few SCV kills, which will delay the production of these buildings here. If he targets the SCVs at all. There he goes there. Does blow him out of the water. We'll go around to the mined out mineral line, but delay the gas here as he is going to kill the Marines that are mining gas here. So very well done. Not too sure where the counter is. If he, oh, he is going right the other way here. Isn't even going to bother protecting the main base. Really doesn't need to. They are just Vikings. We'll move across the field here to the left-hand side here. Where he is going to go for the kill. Go for the throw, I would imagine. Has way too many units for Calm Jedi to deal with. That is a killer Thor count. This should be devastating. Probably not going to last long. Is sticking to the four, the four Viking harass here. Not exactly the best harass unit in the game, but hey, when you're in Silver League, like I say, you can do as you please. Here we go here. We are going to fly in, possibly, see what's going on in here. Really, Calm Jedi is not going to like what he sees. There's the detection out there. There goes the Banshee, the only cloaked unit he has. Here goes a lot of other units here. Is going to lose both medevacs. I don't care. Those two siege tanks, three siege tanks aren't going to do a whole lot. Just too many Thors to absorb that damage. Here we go. We're going to knock him down one by one. There goes the second. There's even a third tank up there here. Is going to go down. Knock the expansion down first. Not that that matters. He had a whopping two guys mining off it. So really doesn't help him too much. Is now going to possibly move into the main here pretty quick. We do have the tanks moving over to get sieged up. Does have three cloak banshees to deal with this. Needs to get a scan over here. Or he could possibly lose more units than he really should have here. Really need to get the scan going down here. This is not looking good at all here. Siege tanks are dropping down. We're going to lose a lot of Thors here. Really thought that army would have been too overbearing, but does get the scan down finally here. Is going to slowly move up here, but does have a lot of SCVs ready to seize the tank. This could be the super, super tank cost here. Look at this. Holy. We do currently have 12 SCVs repairing on one tank. Really looking to keep that tank going here. 
don't think it's going to work all that well. Is moving over. Oh, tried to get him all to repair the other one. Is going to lose some more SCVs here. Is going to try and get in position to get this tank. Tank will obviously get some good Thor shots in here. Here we go. Cannot repair it. Finally realizes that could have been the dumbest move I've ever seen with the 12 SCV count repair. But fair enough to each their own. Like I say, these guys are lower level leagues, so we do forgive them. The one Thor will go to work on the base here. Are currently getting a few more Marines up there to hopefully finish this off here. Does have a shite load of turrets around the base here. Really wasn't going to get Banshee'd again. Does have the one siege tank who did take care of the Vikings over there. This Thor will go to work here. He is realizing that it is pretty much one shot on Marines here. Uh, the Thor doesn't have any upgrades on him. That's fine. Doesn't need him. There's nothing over here to stop this. Has put two Vikings out. Not too sure what the plan was there. Maybe he's very confused and thinks Vikings are good on the ground. Not entirely sure what the idea was there. Does let another Orbro command in the base there. Is very polite player. Does give him the GG. Everybody, you can send your replays to Tractor Shoot at gmail.com and one other thing i'm going to let you know here is i am going to start doing challenge days today's challenge i'm going to let you guys in on isn't going to be a gameplay challenge but gameplay challenge will come next the one all i want to see out of you here is an entire game where every and i'm going to time this every 45 seconds i want you to ask your opponent a stupid question it, anything that has nothing to do with gameplay just a random question like do you like rabbits every 45 seconds never respond to the opponent's answer you may say GG and good luck at the very beginning of the game. Other than that, do not say anything else aside from your one question every 45 seconds. Get a win. Submit that to TractorShoot at gmail.com. I'll cash your game, and I will give you guys a more gameplay-related challenge next time. Appreciate you watching. Words of wisdom for the day are open the curtains, let the donkey pull the cart, but don't let Thor out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Don't hurt nobody.